A senior official in the Central Bank of Iraq said that Baghdad has a cash reserve exceeding $110 billion, stressing that the banks subject to sanctions in the country are communicating with the U.S. State Department with the aim of lifting those sanctions. In an interview with the Saudi newspaper Shark al-Assad, Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Amar Khalif, spoke about ongoing meetings with the U.S. Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury regarding transfers in foreign dollars. The Saudi newspaper added in its report, the Iraqi currency crisis has escalated since the beginning of 2023 after the U.S. Treasury Department banned Iraqi banks from dealing with the global bank transfer mechanism known as SWIFT in an attempt to prevent the smuggling of dollars into Iran. The newspaper continued. Among the measures imposed by Washington is the imposition of restrictions on the daily auction of dollars that Iraq obtains from oil exports. In response to a question about whether there are Iraqi banks that will be subject to U.S. sanctions, Caliph stated that the central bank is not aware of new sanctions. But he revealed that the banks subject to sanctions are communicating with the U.S. Treasury with the aim of lifting those sanctions because imposing them regardless of the justifications is a negative matter that affects on Iraq's reputation in the end, he said. Caliph explained, according to the Saudi newspaper, that foreign transfers are important for any country to finance foreign trade, and they are subject to the supervision of government financial institutions after a series of reforms implemented by the central bank within the framework of the government's economic reform program. In this context, he revealed international companies that provide financial transfers to Iraq. The deputy governor of the central bank added, Government reforms regarding taxes and customs will ultimately lead to strengthening the banks, adding that the problem that the Iraqi economy suffers from is the lack of control so far over the border crossings, noting that the problem still lies in the demand for the dollar. In addition to the entry of trade into the country from other than official outlets, the deputy governor described the relationship with the U.S. Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department as generally good, noting that there are ongoing understandings regarding external transfer operations, and Washington meets all of Iraq's needs for hard currency. Caliph stated, Part of the policy of the government and the Central Bank of Iraq is to raise the value and fight the culture of dollarization. But dependence on oil causes an imbalance in the structure of the Iraqi economy. O section U grave O plus minus O pound O section U grave U grave dot O squared U grave S O macron O superscript one U grave U grave O section U grave O plus minus O section O diaresis O middle dot https colon slash slash com slash news slash o section u grave o diaresis u grave of o section u grave u grave dot o plus minus u grave f o square dus u grave o plus minus o pilgro o superscript one u grave u grave o diaresis o section o superscript a o superscript one u grave u grave u grave dot o micro o section o plus minus u grave u grave dot two u grave s o copyright u grave s o pilgro Pro O plus minus O diaresis O cubed U grave dot O superscript one O copyright O section U grave O superscript one O plus minus O section U grave.